So let's talk a little bit about hoovering and when a narcissist is trying to suck you back into their world, you becoming their supply yet again, or trying to take supply from you from afar, whatever it is they're trying to do. Let's talk about hoovering and tactics for dealing with hoovering. My name is Lisa Colucci, and I'm here to help you with things related to narcissism and healing from narcissists in your life. So hoovering. So what do you feel when a narcissist hoovers you? When you are approached, when you are contacted, if you've just been hoovered or if you're expecting a hoover, if you're thinking about a hoover, you might be feeling overwhelm, shock, confusion, the urge to reach out, the urge to reply, repulsion, fear, all kinds of things. It's, it's pretty overwhelming because you've spent time probably trying to extract this person from your life and get your mind on something else. And then here they are cycling back again and you wonder, was I wrong? Are they really better? Did they really get help? Whatever it is you're thinking. And the thing is, when a narcissist hoovers you back and when you re-engage with them and maybe even form a new relationship again with them, things generally, I'd say up in the high 90 percentile, get worse. They do not get better. They do not change and become better people. What they do is they believe that you now see the truth of who they are and accept and welcome that into your life. And so they stop hiding it. They stop pretending. They devalue faster. They love bomb and devalue cycle so intermittently and so much faster with so little actual feeling to it that you end up just being a yo-yo on the end of a string up and down and there's no actual relationship going on so you end up feeling more trauma bonded you end up being not only traumatized but re-traumatized by this toxic person so what can you do to protect yourself when you're being hoovered, when they're sucking you back in, when they're texting you, when they're letting you know they are around and they are hovering around you trying to get your attention. Basically, you just can't give into the feeling. You can't, you have to resist the urge to reach out, the urge to comment, the urge to say anything to them in response to their hoover focusing really well on reality, on what the truth is of them, what you know to be true of how they are in relationship and what you actually want for your life. Focus on that reality, not on the fantasy thinking that they might be different, not on the fantasy thinking of what was good in the relationship with them, the stuff you miss. You have to keep your mind sharp during a Hoover. If you are aware that you're being Hoovered, Make that your reality. Understand that that is what's going on and you are being manipulated yet again. You're being groomed yet again. Find someone to talk it through with. Support groups are great for this. Group coaching is great for this. Anything where you have people to talk to to help remind you what it was like, to help remind you that this is a cycle and to see other people going through the same thing or similar, which shows you this is actually a pattern of how narcissistic people are in relationships with other people. Read that list of toxic things that that person has done to you. If you don't have one, now's the time to make one. Okay, allow your feelings. Allow those feelings that are all over the place, those overwhelming feelings. Allow them so that you can heal them. You can see that you can withstand it. You can see that these are just feelings and they will pass and that you've been manipulated and that's why you're having these feelings. You are trauma bonded and it has been reignited by the Hoover. Keep the resisting of it high and the kindness towards yourself. Don't get hard on yourself right now so that you can heal because every time you go through this, eventually it gets boring. It gets ridiculous that they're trying to suck someone back in who wants nothing to do with them. So at this point, you can reinstate the no contact, block them, keep them away from you. If they are writing to you or calling you on numbers that are you know, no caller ID, just don't take those. Don't listen to the messages, block the numbers that come through and ignore the no, no caller ID phone call. Let's talk about the many ways in which narcissists hoover. One is the love bombing, the basic, I did you wrong. I'm, I'm 
you are the best person in the world. Let me start over. Let me give you things. Let me send gifts, sending gifts in the mail, sending gifts through friends, flowers, whatever it is. Okay. That's one basic tactic. Another one is the pity ploy. I know I was wrong. I'm a bad person. They're playing on your empathy. They're playing on your pity so that you think that they took accountability. You think that they see what it is that they do in relationships. And also you feel a little bit sorry for them and how pathetic they are so that you give them attention. Remember, Hoovers do not mean they want you back in a romantic relationship. It means they want your supply, period, whatever that looks like. Good, bad, caretaking, whatever, that's what they're after. So they'll tell you exactly what you need to hear sometimes. Sometimes it's to the point where you're thinking in your head, why are you saying this now? You know, you could have done this five years ago. This is exactly what I've been telling you. Why didn't you hear me? So if you have that feeling and somebody is been out of your life or is like right on the edge of being out of your life and they do that, it's a tactic to get you to think they've taken accountability and see the wrongs of their ways and that they're going to change. They're not gonna change if they're narcissists, okay? Fake apologies. We know what those sound like. There's a whole, we have videos on the fake apologies, but fake apologies, apologies that are like, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry you made me. I'm sorry you feel that way, okay? They might have an urgent matter. They might be telling you that something terrible is happening, an an illness, um, something that you can help them with, whatever it is, something to get you, like if you don't respond to it, you feel like a terrible person. That's a Hoover too, all right? They will appeal to your empathy. Sometimes in those fake urgent matters or real urgent matters that they turn to you for when you're no longer in their life. Accidental phone calls. Oops, I didn't mean to call you, (laughs) ha ha. Right, okay, sure. Guilt and blame. They will often use flying monkeys for this or friends of yours or other people in your life or themselves, and they can guilt you and blame you so that you engage in conversation with them. Remember again, the Hoover does not mean wanting you back. It means pulling your energy back towards them. Threats, weird Hoover, right? But they'll do it. Think abandonment guilt to trigger your own fears of abandonment. Oh yeah, they will make it seem like you are the one who abandoned them when in fact they were never present to the relationship and so they abandoned you from the very beginning they will gaslight you to create self-doubt in you and they've probably been doing this all along so it doesn't take much to plant the seeds of self-doubt through gaslighting they will even just show up at your work at your door when you're out in public basically being like a creepy stalker right they will just show up sometimes if this is like a fresh breakup or a fresh discard, they'll pretend it never happened. That is one of the odd ones where they just pretend it didn't happen and they're going on like nothing is wrong. And, or they will end things, but not formally end things. So they'll discard you without anything formal so they can slip back in and say, what are you talking about? We were just on a break or we were just taking some space, right? So that's another odd Hoover. They'll use social media to stalk you or they'll plant information on social media so that you read it. You know, so many people will feel the need to reach out to the toxic person because of something posted on social media. Some something that is a hook that only you know or only you would react to, right? Because it's something personal for you. And that narcissistic person knows exactly what they're doing and that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you to contact them or get you to pay attention to them. And then of course, you know, sending in friends and family that, or mutual friends or whatever, other people to not only gather information for the narcissist, but get you to be thinking about the narcissist so that you either contact them or are simply thinking about them. And just knowing that you're thinking about them gives them supply. So those are some of the ways a narcissist might hoover. How have you been hoovered? And what do you wanna add to this list? Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. Bye-bye.